Good evening and welcome to Sim Brother. I am Furby Furbs. It has been one week in the Sim Brother house and tonight is eviction night. Find out who will be the first to leave the Sim Brother house tonight. Previously on Sim Brother, eight house guests moved into the Sim Brother house. Tate won the first head of household competition of the season. White tempers began to rise between Tyler and Tate. Justice and Aaron also had tempers arise. Crystal, along with Tyler, were the first to be nominated during the power veto competition. Tate won and chose not to use the POV. Who will be evicted from the Sim Brother house, Crystal or Tyler? Find out here on Sim Brother. It has been eight days since the house guests moved into the Sim Brother house. Tonight, one of those house guests will be leaving the Sim Brother house for good. So who will it be? Tyler or Crystal? We'll find out tonight. But before we do, let's watch the house guests react after the power of veto was not used. Well, there's no surprise that Tate did not use the power of veto at all. But uh, I still don't think I'm the target this week. I think it's Crystal. However, you're never too safe in this house. So I got to make sure that I'm staying. And if I do... Tate, I'm coming after you. Ugh, I'm so mad right now, but I'm not out yet. I still have a couple more days to, you know, hopefully sway the minds of the other house guests. But, uh, Tate, you better hope I leave this house because it won't be safe for you next week. Man, this is awesome. First HOH and now the POV. Crystal will be leaving this week. The only thing is I hope I didn't put a target on my back with uh, Tyler because I'm going to now have to start working with him a little bit so I can guarantee my safety next week. Matt and Crystal are uh, talking in the cabana room, and uh, he's talking about how he's going to miss her uh, when she's gone, that uh, he's going to do everything he can to keep her safe, but it uh, doesn't look good, and she's like telling him that you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, he's the only true friend that she actually had in the house, and uh, he'll be the only one that she'll miss, and so not to fret, but just to make sure that uh, he wins next week and go after the ones who did her wrong, so... Uh, they're just going to sit there and uh, chat a while and uh, spend what little time uh, they do have left because she does feel she is going to be going home. It's going to totally suck if uh, Crystal leaves this week. Uh, she is my one true friend in this house. Um, I can relate to her and uh, I keep telling her to fight, but she's ready to throw in a towel. But uh, it's not over until uh, Furby Ferb says that she's been evicted. So uh, I got to keep pushing her to fight and uh, I'm going to have to fight for her as well. They continue to talk. Crystal is actually talking about after they leave the Sim Brother house, uh, actually going on a real date and actually getting to know each other on the personal and real level because, you know, it seems that everyone's not who they truly are in this game, but she feels that he is and would like to see it go further. Um, so she's just spending all the time she can with them until, you know, the possible eviction of her leaving. So we'll see how that goes. In just moments, the first house guest will be evicted from the Sim Brother house. But before we do the eviction ceremony, let's go ahead and speak with the house guests. Good evening, house guests. How are you doing? Hey, Furbs. Hey, what's up? Doing good. Congratulations on surviving your first week in the Sim Brother house. The first question I have is for Tate. How does it feel to be the first head of household of the season? And would you have changed it if you could? You know, it's been a hectic week. Uh, you think this game is going to be easy, but as you get to know each other, it does get difficult because uh, at the end of tonight, we are going to be saying goodbye to someone. And, I mean, it's nothing personal. It is a game. So, uh, you know, yeah, I would do it the same. Um, just, you know, yeah, do it the same. <laughs> My next question is for Justice. Justice, you and Crystal seem to have a rocky start at the beginning of the game. Uh, do you think that uh, outside the house you can actually... Uh, Reconcile and become friends, or do you think that there was too much damage done while in the Sim Brother house? Well, Furbs definitely has been a rough week. Uh, however, I don't hold grudges, so if um, you know she wants to be friends, that's fine. Um, we're stuck in the house; there's no escape, so it, it's gonna be normal that someone's gonna have tension with someone else. So, um, but yeah, I can definitely see us being friends on the outside. Thank you, house guests. I'll talk to you momentarily. So, who will be evicted? Do you have an idea? Stay tuned. Crystal and uh, Dario are inside the storage room. Uh, Crystal is trying to get on his good side. She knows that they clashed in the past as well. And she's trying to 
get a strategy where she could be safe, so she's campaigning against uh, Tyler. She wants him out of the house, and she wants a chance to stay. So she's offering up safety for uh, Dario. She wins head of household, and um, he's going along with it. Uh, hasn't really quite made up his mind, though. Crystal is trying to do everything she can to stay in this house. She's actually trying to make a deal with me, which uh, might be a good idea. But this is the best opportunity we have right now to get her out of the house. I can see it being a lot more negative if she stays. Malachi and Justice and Tate are having a discussion. Um, mm -hmm. Malachi's been very shy, oh, inward shy. type. Uh, <laughs> so they want him to be more sociable, uh, kind of get involved in the game and not be uh, seen as a floater, you know, someone flying under the radar where that can actually put a bigger target on his back in the future because he will be very easy to get out because he's not playing the game. But then again, it could be part of his strategy, which he's not discussing. But uh, he does change the subject to a more personal topic. The alliance is in the room, but they're not really discussing who they want to get out. Right now, the majority is still getting Crystal out. However, that could change. Everything in the game does change at a moment's notice. But they're trying to relax on the game talk because anyone can walk in the room, which uh, Tyler actually does walk in the room, and he is one of the nominees. So they're just going to casually talk and act as if nothing's going on. So Justice wants me to be a little more outspoken in the game. I'm still trying to get to know everybody, so I'm very shy at first, but once you get to know me, I'm very outspoken. But I'm not ready to deal my hands with the strategy I have. My strategy is to stay under the radar for a few weeks and then, bam, get them. It's a fairly calm morning. Everyone's just sitting around in a room uh, talking. They are a little nervous. This is going to be the first uh, eviction, so they're not really sure how they're going to be feeling about it. Tate and Justice are in the corner where they're talking while Dario and uh, Tyler are looking at the fish as usual. For some reason, everyone's fascinated by the fish tank. They just stare at it. And... So they're talking. Tyler is now actually talking to Justice and Tate trying to make a deal. Pretty much campaigning against Crystal, but they're kind of keeping it low, low, so Crystal can't really hear what's going on. He's just trying to make sure that he's safe for the next week because he does not want to go. So he's trying to make a deal with possibly keeping them safe if he happens to win the next HOH competition. I really hope I can uh, convince uh, the guys to keep me in the house this week and get Crystal out of here. Um, so I can definitely go after them next week, but I definitely do not want to leave yet. It is now time for the eviction ceremony to begin, but first before we do, let's speak with the house guests. House guests, the time has come for the eviction, but before we start, I'm going to allow Crystal and Tyler one brief moment to make a final statement, starting with Crystal. First, I'd like to say this has been an amazing opportunity. Uh, it's been a stressful week, but uh, I do respect your decision. I do respect all of you, and hopefully we can all be friends on the outside, and uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you, Crystal. Tyler, you may now have the floor. As Crystal said, it's been a great week, good experience, and uh, I'll respect any decision that y'all have made. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Tyler. Okay, with that said, I'm going to reveal the vote. Once the vote has been revealed, either Crystal or Tyler will have just moments to grab their things and leave the Sim Brother house. By a vote of 4 to 1, Crystal, you have been evicted from the Sim Brother house. Kobe! Sorg! Uh, what's that? Uh huh! Umino! Uh huh! Hello, Crystal. Go ahead and have a seat, please. Oh, wow, look at her picture. It's black and white now. Bye, Crystal. Good knowing you. See you later. Crystal, you are the first to be evicted from the Sim Brother house this season. How does it feel? And would you change anything? Do you regret anything while being in the house? It was a great experience. I did enjoy my time in the house. I would change the fact that I was the first one to get evicted. However, you know, it is what it is. It is stressful in there. You have no escape. But uh, I did like everyone that was in the house, and I can see myself being good friends with them down the road. What about Justice? Things seem to get very heated between y'all throughout this week. Well, yeah, things did get heated. Like I said, there's no escape. I don't dislike her. Uh, we did get, you know, on each other's nerves, but it is what it is, and 
I'm sure everyone's different outside the house. We're not truly who we are. It's a different environment. And finally, who's the next person would you like to see leave the Sim Brother house? I would honestly like to see Tate go. He's the reason why I'm gone now. Well, Crystal, in the event of you being evicted, your housemates have recorded some uh, goodbye messages for you. Here they are now. Well, Crystal, it was nothing personal, but you had to go. So I wish you luck and i uh, see you on the outside. Well, if you're watching this, it means you were evicted, which I can't say I feel sorry for you. Uh, you brought upon yourself. You were just too negative in the house, and we did not need that negativity here. I do wish you luck, and I'll see you on the outside. Hey, girl, it was fun. However, I am glad to see you go. Goodbye. Yeah, look, I'm sorry I couldn't keep you in the house. I tried my best. I am going to miss you. You are the one true friend I have in this house, and I wish you luck and cannot wait to get to go on a real date with you. You and Matt have gotten pretty close in the game. Do you actually see yourself having a real relationship outside this game? Well, anything's possible. Um, I just, we have to get to know each other outside this game. Like I said, everyone's different inside the house and they truly are on the outside. So hopefully it will be something good, but we'll see. Crystal, it's been great having you. With you being the first evicted house guest, you will not be part of the five-person jury that will crown the ringer at the end of the show. However, you will be back on finale night. Thank you. It is now time for this week's Head of Household competition. Let's go ahead and get with the house guests in the backyard. Hello, house guests. This week's HOH competition is called First or Last. The concept of this game is you have to either be the first prone or the last one to do an item. Either cook and eat a meal, sit down, go to sleep, or leave the area. Once you have completed one of the items, you are not able to do it again. The first or last person to do the selected item will win this week's HOH. Tate, as outgoing head of household, you are not able to compete in this competition. All right, house guests, the game has begun now. So the house guests are trying to figure out what they should do. Should they sit down, stay in? They're not quite sure, so they're still discussing. So the house guests are in the little room and are just sitting there uh, chatting up. They're trying to figure out what strategy they want to do. But uh, they're not sure how long this game is going to last. So Aaron is talking to uh, Dario, and uh, they're thinking about maybe uh, just sitting down, and Tate's leaving because he's bored. So they sat down. Aaron's still standing up, so obviously that's not it because no one's been crowned the HOH. And so they're still chatting. Uh, they're just trying to figure out what's going to happen for them next week. Uh, obviously, they got the number one target out this week, so they're not really sure. We got Justice and Matt sitting there in the corner on the bed talking. So... Like I said, who knows who's going to win this. It's anyone's game. So we're just going to sit here and watch. Uh, they're still chatting. So here we go. It looks like Tyler will be the new HOH. Congratulations, Tyler. Tyler is the new head of household. Who will he nominate for eviction? Find out next time on Sin Brother. I'm Furby Furbs. Thank you and good night. Thank you again for uh, watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and also click on other videos to watch. Thank you again.